special people here. Hey, uh, Natasha, join us in the Weather Center. The last few nights we've been showing Seaside, but now we see there's rain there. Now there's rain there. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> now the rain is starting to show up for us at the coast. This uh, later will turn into thunderstorms along the coast and eventually spread inland closer to Portland. It is 49 degrees right now, and we have some colder air starting to move in. And as soon as it does, you'll also notice a big difference in where the snow falls. Not expecting any valley snow. We're just talking about down to the foothills, right around 2,000 feet. This is what we see on radar right now. Some heavier cells just sitting offshore, about 25 to 30 miles offshore. Light variety rain for us right now just north of Tillamook. Otherwise, for the most part, we've been dry the last few hours. Current conditions in Portland, 47 degrees. Wind is out of the southeast at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures overnight really don't change a whole lot for us until that cold front actually comes through. Once it does, the cold air behind it will add to the instability, which would lead us to thunderstorms. Mid 40s for you through tomorrow morning. So on our water vapor imagery, look at those lightning flashes. Yeah, this is just the last four hours. All of it getting ever closer as soon as we get to tomorrow afternoon, a chance to see some of those thunderstorms pop right here into the valley. But if you are a light sleeper, uh, tomorrow morning, right around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, you might along the coast start to hear some of those rumblers pop in and then might see a lightning show following that. We get to tomorrow morning about 10 o'clock in the morning. More of those heavy showers on the way with the possibility of hail associated with that. There's your snow coming down a little bit closer to about that 2,000 foot mark as soon as we get to the weekend. Out of the two days, I think Saturday will certainly be your wettest day. On Sunday, in the early part of the day, we're going to get a break from the rain and the snow. But as soon as we get to the late afternoon hours, the rain returns and so does the Cascade snow as well. Again, snow levels down to about 2,000 feet during this time period. Uh, Monday is going to be a rainy day again, but Tuesday, if you're looking for just one day, one day to make some plans for your spring break forecast. Tuesday right now looks like it'll be the driest one. Wednesday, another chance of showers arriving for you in the evening hours through Thursday and again on Friday. So mountain weekend forecast, uh, both days temperatures will be in the upper 20s for you at resort level. Uh, on Sunday, though, Sunday early in the day, you get a break from the snow and then it returns for the afternoon. So how much snow could we see? Weekend totals plus Monday. Look at that. Anywhere from 6 to 12 inches possible for the Cascades. Winds certainly picking up for you tomorrow morning at the coast and also spreading to our inland valley locations. Anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour possible as we roll into tomorrow evening, especially here in the valley. There's your seven day forecast. And then, of course, our first day of spring officially is on Saturday, a high of 52. And then we'll see a slight increase in our temperatures the middle of next week, back to the upper 50s. All right, Natasha.